Hello everyone, in this DCS VR video, I will show how to co-star the new Mirage F1 EE variant that was just released. Keep in mind, this isn't the full procedure as described in the manual. We will be doing a few shortcuts such as not turning on the radio or waiting until the RPM is at 300 before pushing throttle to idle. The two main buttons that I think you might want to bind if you start up the Mirage the way I do with the motion controllers in VR is the inverter selector switch reset action and the canopy open and close. The reason why I personally bind the inverter switch is because I find it much easier to interact with properly in VR. But your mileage may vary Last note, this video is actually a re-upload. I watched a video from Tuvis on how to do image stabilization with VR and OBS. Before I lower the canopy, always hide the radar cover. Now we can lower the canopy. Next, we're going to lock the canopy. Now let's start the battery. Select the LP main cockpit switch. Turn on the left and right pumps along with the ignition selector. Also, we can lift the starter button guard. Now we wait for the RPM. The manual says 300 RPM, but what I do is right after 100, I suppose like 150, that's when I go ahead and set throttle to idle, otherwise the engine will just die and you have to start all over. Now we're going to flip the inverter selector switch. Now at this point is when I use my keybind actually and I just hit that button to reset the switch otherwise at least in my experience you might end up fighting with that switch and that warning light will just stay on now i'm going to flip on the master valve control switch and the heading and vertical emergency gyro magnetic compass switch Now we're just going to go across in a straight line, only skipping the warning test because we're in DCS and it just always works. Next we're going to select the servos reset button. This way we can get rid of the warning lights. Uncage the standby horizon. Next, we will begin INS alignment. In the mission editor, the option to allow store heading to be used is already selected by default. So here, we will select ALCM so that we can use the stored alignment, which should only take 1.5 minutes. Also, as described in the manual, we will use STS with the parameter selector. Now we're going to wait for the alignment to complete. Now that we have a green light, we know that alignment has completed. Set the mode selector to nav once the alignment has been completed. Turn on the site selector and radar selector. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. 